Yes, so I'm Attila and uh, Hungarian. Uh, I do live in Hungary. To, to, to get into the comics was, you know, when I was, when I was a kid, it was, uh, it was a lot for the first time, first time. I mean, I think it's a kind of simple, you know, I, I never wanted to do anything else, just, just drawing comic books. So we have to draw, you know, every skeleton, everything. And in the second year, you draw every muscles with the bones together and uh, in different angles, whatever. And after a while, you have to draw from memory. For example, you have to draw uh, on, on a table in a life size from memory, uh, a position of the human uh, with a skeleton and with the muscles on it. At first, uh, I wanted to be published in France uh, and I went to publishers with my portfolio. And my first book, uh, which was a, a hand-painted graphic novel, it was published by a very small publisher called Carabas, probably it doesn't even exist anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, I went to the big houses like Dacour and, uh, and Renat, Casterman, you know, but they didn't take my portfolio. I think it was not very mainstream or whatever. So it was very hard to get into. And, uh, and then I started to do a career in, uh, in the States. And uh, my first uh, uh, job was uh, to draw the Percy Jackson books for Disney. You know, it was a good challenge. So I took it and it became a huge uh, success since then. Uh, I, did, I did draw three books mm -hmm. and they sold uh, almost 1 million. Then I met with Scott Snyder. Uh, Scott is probably, you know, I don't have to introduce him, I guess. <laughs> and uh, we did uh, a book together called Severed. There was a book a few years ago called uh, The Best um, 100 Graphic Novels of All Time, selected mm -hmm. uh, from, the, from the American market. And The Severed was in this selection. I then I did draw a uh, Conan uh, for mm -hmm. Dark Horse. And uh, they offered me, it's, it's an interesting story, because they offered me, the Dark Horse, to draw an uh, alien. They relaunched uh, the, the series. And uh, then I decided I prefer to do a French book. So I mm. said no to Dark Horse for, for an offer, which, is, uh, which was huge. Uh, <laughs> so when my career started to go up in the States, I, I decided to come back yes. to, to the European market. I love the story. I love the atmosphere. You know, there's uh, many good things I can draw. You know, the characters, the the the, the setting, Los Angeles, noir story. So everything is together, and uh, and I felt that that this project is something uh, which uh, we can take me back to the train I I feel comfortable with. With Movie Ghost, I wanted to do a book uh, which I wanted to buy. So. Uh, if I go into a shop and I open it and I have to feel that, oh yeah, this is something I want to buy. And this That's is why I took the coloring too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like that, I, I, you know, I, I, I didn't like the colors of my, of my colorist before. It, it was good, but it's absolutely different when you control everything. Because when I draw something in black and white, I already see it in, in colors. And I think that you can feel on the result that this is, uh, this is not just another uh, comic book. There's more personality in it. Mm -hmm. I guess it's true. It's so. True. Um, so this is why it's very important for me, and uh, and, and I'm very keen to to find the audience uh, for it because uh, yeah, because it's um, so. mm -hmm. because it's it's more more like a personal project for me. I think it's scene is full with emotions, just like the script of Stephen, and I felt that this is a good opportunity for me to to draw all of these which were in my mind since a while. They are the first uh, readers of this book, mm. and I really hope that they will enjoy it and they will feel the passion uh, we had during this project. And uh, I really hope that uh, they can help us uh, to, to, to reach uh, the readers of this book.